Okay, for Geometry CP, here are the answers to the quiz that we went over sort of in class. So, number five. One acute angle of a right triangle measures 28 degrees. So, we can draw a right triangle. It doesn't really matter how you do this. You can pick any angle to be 28 degrees. And then it says to the nearest tenth, what's the length of the side opposite the angle? So, wherever you put your 28, the side opposite of it. Um, is going to be x. That's what we're solving for. And it says that the hypotenuse measures 16. So again, the hypotenuse has to be across from the 90 degrees, so that one has to be 16. We're solving for x, so the first thing you have to think about is are we using sine, cosine, or tangent? So, katoa. To figure out what we're going to do, we need to look at the x. Is it opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse to the 28 degrees? Well, it's opposite. It told us in the problem. And it also told us in the problem that the 16 is the hypotenuse. So which trig function uses the O and the H? That's sine. So we know now that we're going to use sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. So when the number is on the bottom or when the variable is on the top, you have to think, well, hmm, the opposite of dividing by 16 is multiplying by 16. So literally in your calculator, you put a, a 16 times sine 28. Or if you look at your trig chart, you know that sine 28 is um, 0.469. So 16 times 0.469. And you're going to get 7.5 about. Okay, so that's how you do the first problem. I'm going to do 9, 10, and 11 before um, I have to move it up. So 9, what is cosine 30 degrees? Whenever you see a 30, a 60, or a 45, you know that that's a special right triangle. So 30, 60, 90 triangle is what we're going to draw. And you have to remember, I promise you I will put one question like this on your test. You have to remember that the side across from the 30 is always the 1x. The side across from the 90 degrees is always a 2x, and the side across from the 60 is always x radical 3. So you have your 1, 2, 3 for this 30, 60, 90 triangle every single time. And they tell you, they told you to, to use cosine. Cosine stands for adjacent over hypotenuse. So to the 30 degrees, which side is adjacent? That's x radical 3. And which side is the hypotenuse? It's 2x. So we have that adjacent over hypotenuse. And what happens to the x's is they cancel each other out and you're left with radical 3 over 2. Number 10. To the nearest degree, what is the measure of the smallest angle of a right triangle who, whose legs measure 9 and 15? This is all important information. Smallest angle is what you want. Okay? So we're going to draw a picture and it doesn't matter where you put the 9 and 15 as long as it's not the hypotenuse. So it could be anywhere. I'll put the 9 here and I'll put the 15 here. And you can pick any angle you want to because we know we have to find the smallest one. So I'm just going to randomly, arbitrarily pick this one. So I want to solve for this angle. Again, you have to figure out if you're using sine, cosine, or tangent. So uh, in respect to this angle that I chose, the 15 is considered opposite because it's not touching it. And the 9 is considered adjacent because it's not a hypotenuse. So which trig function talks about the O and the A? That's tan. But we're trying to find an angle. So that means you're going to use inverse tan of opposite over adjacent. And if I put that into my calculator, I'm going to get 59 degrees. So this angle equals 59 degrees. And guess what? Most people are going to pick 59 degrees. However, the question is what's the smallest angle? So what you're going to do is you're going to take 90 minus 59, and that's going to get you that the answer is 31. And why am I choosing 90? Well, it's a, there's 180 degrees in every triangle, and one's already 90 degrees. So if you take 180 and subtract that 90 degree angle, you're going to get 90 degrees. So that means that these two other angles have to equal 90 degrees. So 31 plus 59 equals 90 degrees. Okay, number 11, we did this one in class as well. If uh, what, to the nearest degree, what angle does a hill make with a grade? of 11 degrees with uh, the horizontal line. So to draw this, 11 degrees is the same thing, or, sorry, 11% is the same thing as 11 over 100, and that's the same as rise over run. So if you think about it, it's rising 11, and it's running 100. I don't know why I put 10. <laughs> I'm sorry. Rising 11, it's running 100, and we want to know what's the angle. So, again, since we're trying to find an angle, we're going to use inverse SOHCAHTOA. So, 
we have an opposite side and we have an adjacent side. So we're again going to use inverse tan. Opposite over adjacent. Put that into your calculator and you get six degrees. Okay, we're almost done. Next questions were seven, oh, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so it's six, seven, eight. Okay, cool. So use the figure for exercise six and seven. So number six says, what's tan of K? Whenever they say what's sine, cosine, or tangent of something, they're asking you again for the ratio of two sides. So tan, it's always comparing the opposite and the adjacent. So in respect to angle K, the opposite would be 24, and the adjacent would be 45, and the hypotenuse would be 51. So we're going to compare... 24 over 45. And some people are like, hold up, it's not in here. Take a deep breath, reduce both of them, and you're going to get, let's see, we can reduce both by 3, right? And we're going to get 8 over 15. Pretty sure. Um, yeah, so that's how we do that one. We don't have to do, we're not solving for anything. We're not solving for a side length, we're not solving for an angle, we're just looking for a ratio, a fraction. Number seven, to the nearest degree, what is the measure of angle M? This one we're trying to find an angle. If we're trying to find an angle, remember we're using inverse SOHCAHTOA. So, and they told us all the sides, so this is really cool. You, that means you guys get to pick whichever trig function you want. It doesn't matter. I am really, I don't know why, but sine is my favorite. So I know I'm going to use inverse sine. And so sine compares the opposite and the hypotenuse. So with respect to the M, because that's what it told us, the opposite side is 45, and the hypotenuse, which is across from the 90-degree angle, is 51. So I put that in my calculator, and I get that the answer is about 62 degrees. Okay, number eight. A 24-foot ladder forms a 76-degree angle with the ground. You know what we get to do now. We get to draw a picture. I'm going to draw it over here. So I have a 24-foot ladder, and it forms a 76 degrees with the ground. To the nearest inch, how high up the building does the ladder reach? So I want to know this. In this case, I don't give you all the sides of the right triangle. So you have to use whatever information I've given you. So in respect to the 76 degrees, this X is opposite. And this is the hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle. So we have to use sine. There's no other way to do it. So sine of 76 equals opposite over hypotenuse. Since the X is on top, the opposite of dividing by 24 is multiplying by 24. So you have 24 times sine 76, and that will get you your answer. Sine 26, 76, of 23 feet and 3 inches. Okay, and um, some people are confused on when to multiply and when to divide. So we just did this problem. What happens if the problem turned out to look like this for some reason? Would you still multiply by 24? No. Remember when the x is on the bottom, that's when you swip the two things, and we're going to get that x equals 24 over sine 76. I just want to make sure you guys understand when we're, you're dividing is when the x is on the bottom. When you're multiplying is when the x is on top. All right, so those are the answers to the quiz. Good luck on Tuesday with your test.